We're going to take a look at the E-mini S&P here on a four-hour chart. Uh, we had the full moon, of course, on the 19th with Mercury uh, going back direct. That pretty much brought in this bottom that we had here uh, in the early mornings uh, of that day. Uh, as you can see, we've had a pretty good rally. Now, the $64 question is, as you can see, we're in a pretty strong downtrend, as you can see uh, from this move down. Right here is when Mercury went retrograde, and now it's gone direct. Now, what we'd be watching for is the last rally, as you can see, lasted this amount. So the worst that could possibly happen from the downside is that the rally could rally up to this level right here, which is at 2072. Now that's a pretty uh, big number to give back up, but you'll have to tick from the high that we made back here to the low that we made back here. You notice that comes in almost exactly at this level here at 2072. And that would be equal to this last move that we had here. So this is the key spot to look at. Um, we've had these rallies before. As you can see, the last time we had a really good rally, we did exactly the same thing. So what we really need to do is to get out of all of our short positions if we get above uh, 2075. Um, that would be above this 61% retracement of the whole move. The reason for that is it would have to get there very quickly, and if it does that, you know, who who knows? Uh, because it was a rather mild correction between the uh, for this whole month. It virtually did very, very little. It was only a 5% correction, so that tells us that we could possibly do that. The other uh, scenario that we could do is just exit here and uh, take profits. We have profits in everything that we have on right now, and we could certainly do that. But I'd like to wait another day. Uh, just to see what happens, but we want to put a fail safe uh, in above uh, 2075 in the uh, S&P. If you see that figure sometime during the day, I would just get out 2075. That would be in the futures. Uh, that would mean the Dow would have to be up uh, over 25 points. That would be over 250 points in the Dow. So we'll uh, watch this. But that's what we want to do, uh, exit everything at that time. Uh, we'd still have profits in a lot of things, uh, but there would be a couple of them to be about break even. For one would be uh, probably IBM, but we took eight points out of that on the first move down. We're about even on it, so that would be okay. All right, that's what we're looking at. Uh, well, this is it from uh, Kiev, Ukraine, where I am, and uh, it's a wonderful place. But, boy, it's hard to beat the old USA, folks. That's the bottom line. And uh, really, uh, really like it uh, over there in the USA. Okay, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.